when residents spot trouble in New Orleans' French Quarter, help is no more than a tap away. The French Quarter Task Force has been patrolling this tourist mecca for just four months, and residents are taking notice. Now I feel safe walking again. The force is privately funded and staffed by off-duty New Orleans police officers who cruise around on these tricked-out all-terrain vehicles. People were getting beat up for no reason and just walking down the street, elderly people people that I knew. Sidney Torres dreamed up the concept less than a year ago. The New Orleans businessman put up more than $300,000 to get it off the ground. Private money funding public police protection is a growing trend in the U.S., but the French Border Task Force is unique in its implementation. Solicitation. If a person witnesses a crime, they can open up the app and report it, even attach a photo. A message is sent to the nearest officer on their iPad. Fees collected from the city's Convention and Visitors Bureau helps with operating costs, paying officers a premium rate to patrol on their days off. The program comes amid a shortage of officers in the New Orleans Police Department. The force lost roughly 500 officers after Hurricane Katrina in 2005 and is struggling to hire more. It's now much, much safer. Bob Sims works with the New Orleans Police Department to manage the task force. He says the numbers prove it's working. Person crimes are down 40 percent compared to the same time last year. Person crimes are armed robbery, uh, simple robberies, um, rapes. Mia Matassa runs Matassa's market in the French Quarter. She says she's used the app at least four times instead of calling 911. We're calling for things. I think uh, there are a lot of things that we weren't, we wouldn't call because we, we knew the response time would be so long and now we're, we feel comfortable because we can use this app. You get it in and somebody's here. Torres and the Visitors Bureau have plans to fund the French Quarter Task Force for the next five years, hoping by then the city will have hired enough officers to patrol the area on its own. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press, New Orleans.